sugar has killed more people than heroin. What's up guys, it's Friday, so you know it's time to get after it with another What The Fitness. This week, unfortunately, I've got a video from an interview that Mike Rowe did. I actually like Mike Rowe's stuff. I think Dirty Jobs is a cool show, and I think his takes on a lot of things are actually really good. And I don't know who this dude is he had on, but this guy is absolutely out of his freaking mind. So let's see what he has to say about sugar and how deadly it is. It's killed more people. Alcohol or sugar? Sugar. Fentanyl or sugar? Heroin sugar. or sugar? Sugar. Cocaine <laughs> or sugar? Sugar. When Lincoln was president, the average American ate less than one pound of sugar per person per year. Now, depending on who you ask, the low number is 250 pounds of sugar per person per year and as high as 350 pounds of sugar. <laughs> and you'll go, come on, Vinny, you're saying a, a pound a day? Oh my God. I really like it when people like this put hard numbers on things because I can do this thing called math. 350 pounds of sugar per year divided by 365 is 0.96-ish pounds of sugar per day. Uh, there's 454 grams in a pound. So he's saying 435 grams of sugar per day. Let's look at the low end. Cause what did he say? 250 pounds per year. So 365. So that equates to 311 grams of sugar per day. So anywhere from 311 grams of sugar per day to 435 grams of sugar per day. The actual data shows that at the highest point, it's around 125 grams per day. And that's total sugar in the diet, not just added sugar. Dr. Norton, where, where did he get those numbers? Hey, let me treat my dear Watson. He made it up. Just like he made up that sugar has killed more people than alcohol, fentanyl, heroin, cocaine. No, 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 no. Hell no, 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 f***ing no. Absolutely not, bullshit. No, 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 no. Not even f***ing close. No, no, no. So what does the actual data say about the risk of death with sugar intake? Yes, increased levels of sugar intake, over 20% of your calories from sugar is associated with approximately a 30% increased risk of mortality. But they also found increased risk of mortality at very low levels of sugar intake. And the risk of mortality from obesity is higher than the risk of mortality from sugar intake by quite a bit, which suggests that the effect of sugar on mortality is completely explained by the fact that people overconsume calories and become obese and have excess body fat, which is a very high risk for mortality, up to an increased risk of mortality of 250%. Gee, I wonder how much the, the risk of mortality is from heroin. Three to 400% increased risk. I don't know about you, but three to 400% sure sounds like a lot more than 30%. The easiest thing in the world for somebody to get on a podcast and do is to just spout random bull****. And I don't know who this guy is, but that is exactly what he was doing. Look, let's just think about this for a second. He is claiming that people are eating a pound of sugar per day. This is insanity. Not only was he wrong, but he was wrong by three to fourfold. It is easy to get on these podcasts and just make stuff up. Because unfortunately, most people are just going to watch these podcasts and go, oh, yeah, yeah. And nobody's actually gonna fact check. Sorry, buddy, you can't just get on and spout random bullshit because it's not cool to make it up. 